Hi, my name is Leslie Nielsen, and I'm a teacher in Charlotte, North Carolina. And um, I want to just take a couple minutes of your day to talk to you about my new venture called A Teacher in Need, North Carolina. Um, over the past two school years, I have worked diligently to help um, teachers in schools affected by natural disasters, particularly Hurricane uh, Florence and Hurricane Dorian. And it has occurred to me that when I worked in the corporate world, I was a restaurant manager for many, many years before I became a teacher, that we always had an employee assistance fund available to our employees that um, were facing financial hardship. And why don't we have something like that for teachers here in North Carolina? So this is the brainchild of that sort of like connection between uh, what I was able to do and what I would like to do um, and um, in terms of employee assistance, particularly for educators. So welcome to a teacher in need, North Carolina. So we are in our infancy here. I have done a first round of crowdfunding that has got us the, uh, the ball rolling in terms of getting um, my nonprofit paperwork filed with the IRS and incorporating us in the state of North Carolina and paying for my domain and my website and all the stuff that comes along with that. And I'm so appreciative of everybody who's given. But my next step is to start to actually get donations in that are going to sustain this fund. If you've ever worked for a company that has an employee assistance fund, here's simply how it works. You pledge whatever dollar amount that you want to give every month and it comes out of your paycheck. Um, of course, most people don't get paid every month, they get paid every week. So I remember I used to give five dollars a week out of my paycheck as a waitress, bartender, um, I think I gave more when I was management because I had more to give. And it just goes and sits in a general fund, and that fund is managed by finance people that help it grow. Um, and then when you need it or you have a colleague that you know needs it, you fill out the application. And the fund will help you with anything that is deemed under the rules, which you can check out on the webpage, www.ateacheredneed.org. Um, to see what qualifications are, but it's basically things that insurance don't cover. So anybody who's ever um, been in the hospital knows that our insurance is not the greatest. It'll cover some of the stuff, but not everything. I had surgery last year, very simple inpatient procedure, um, in and out within a few hours. It cost me $3,000 out of my own pocket. It's a lot of money for a teacher. Um, my very good friend who's actually on my executive board, uh, her, her baby had to spend a week in NICU and the, the cost of that was astronomical even with insurance. So that's what a teacher in need is going to help fill. Uh, the need it's going to help fulfill is helping out teachers that just are struggling um, paycheck to paycheck who have unexpected costs through no fault of their own. Get in a car accident. Yeah, your insurance is going to cover some of it, but not your deductible. Um, a hurricane hits, you know, you might be able to pay for some of that. But think about all those teachers at, at Ocracoke this year. Their school was destroyed. Think about all the items that we personally curate in our classrooms that we have built over the years that spent out of our own money. And that you, I wouldn't be able to replace that stuff, would you? So a teacher in need will help that. And I'll be able to do it a lot faster than I've been able to do the last couple of years um, by doing, you know, school supply raising and, and gift cards that we did this year. I just want to be able to cut a check and get it to you as quickly as possible. So here's where you come in. I need you, if you are an educator, and by educator I mean any person who works in a public school building or is uh, works for a public school system in the state of North Carolina from our custodial staff to our cafeteria staff to our teaching assistants principals assistant principals teachers bus drivers you're all part of our public education anybody is eligible for this fund under our guidelines I need you to talk to your colleagues about it send them to my Facebook page get them to follow us and get them to pledge you can go right to the website on PayPal and you could have whatever dollar amount uh, you want to take out um, every month to help us build this fund. As we go through and the money starts to accumulate, I'm hoping by the start of next school year that we will be able to start cutting checks. If it happens faster than that, that's great. We'll go with it. Okay. Um, I promise 
that this is all volunteer on, on my end. I'm not going to expect a paycheck. I am a teacher in need. I've been a teacher in need. I've been where you are when you're worried about how you're going to cover this bill or, you know, the car broke down and you have no money for repairs and how am I going to get to work and, oh, my God, I have been there. So I get it and I want to help and a teacher in need wants to help. And the only way we can make this dream come true is by starting small and getting people to give whatever it is they have to give. A dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. Multiply that by the number of public school employees we have across the state and think about how much good that we can do with that. And think about, it's almost like having a little insurance policy. So if something catastrophic happened in your life that you can turn to us and we will help you. Thank you for listening. And please, again, it's www.aTeacherInNeed.org is our website. And there's a Facebook group and a Facebook page. Thank you.